Hi, my name is Andin Chaushevich and I come from Richmond Park Schools in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm here to present you the wizards from Plasticus. When they were first introduced in the 1950s, no one expected the biggest pollutants today to be named. Of course, we are talking about plastic bottles. Today, over a million plastic bottles are bought every five minutes, and that number is to increase by 20% by the end of next year. Most of those plastic bottles end up in our oceans and in our landfills, which is not sustainable at all. So will humanity continue to use one-time plastic bottles and destroy the ecosystem that we have, or will it turn to more uh, sustainable solutions? With the Wizard from Plasticos, both is possible. The Wizard from Plasticos is a thermal a thermal isolation system for objects, which is based on recycled plastic bottles. So, basically, before I go into the system that we made, I will briefly talk about the ways that heat is uh, transferred through air. So, there is conduction, which is basically the movement of heat through matter. The most important part here is that it can't move that way through air, which is why our both of our systems have air layers. The next way is convection, which is basically the way heat moves through air and uh, fluids. Plastic is the best, one of the best ways to stop that movement, which is why we are using it in our systems as the base of the systems. And radiation, which is something that no isolation system to, today tackles. And the only thing that we know that can absorb that is our uh, plants which is why they are part of our third model. So what we did, we uh, melted plastic bottles and made planes out of them, cut the planes and made those isolation systems. We built three one times one meter houses and put our uh, isolation systems on them. So what are our systems? Our first <coughs> two layer system is made of two plastic layers. So this is a bigger, uh, model so that it is easier to see. In reality it's like three times smaller. So there are two uh, plastic layers here and two air layers which are stopping convection and convection. And in our second, uh, third layers, three layer system, there are three layers of plastic, two layers of air and one soil layer which is connected to a plant layer which would be on the outside. So, after we finished all that, we collected data for over six months. After uh, our six months research, we got uh, some pretty interesting results. For instance, here is a graph of the first 14 days uh, that we measured. After all of that, we were able to conclude that our first system, so this one, is 27% more efficient than styrofoam, which we use today in our households. The second model, which is this one, is as far as 97% more efficient, which is almost two times. In translation, this would mean that an average US household would be able to save around two times more than they are saving today with a styrofoam system. So we then calculated how much it would cost to construct something like that. We took the average prices that are paid for plastics in Bosnia and came to the conclusion that the prices of this model, included in um, tr trade margins, would be uh, pretty similar to the styrofoam prices in Bosnia, <clears throat> which means that we have a product which is the same price or even lower if we would go to a larger scale, which is more efficient and which is eco-friendly. In conclusion, this model would be able to solve two of the biggest problems today, which are the efficiency of our homes and the uh, enormous amount of plastic that we have all around our planet.